Jetpacks represent just one of the many pinnacles between technology and research. So let's take a look at five really awesome and epic flying machines. At number five, the Day Dallas Flight Suit. Richard Browning invented a one-of-a-kind flight suit which requires superhuman strength and coordination. The suit can fly for around 10 minutes and can theoretically go up to 200 miles per hour. Six miniature engines are mounted onto the user's arms and lower back. But the jets are very difficult to control and you are unlikely to survive the full power of this jetpack. But that's not really stopping Richard and he plans to add a HUD, a data lake system and he also plans to commercialize the suit for rich fanatics who are not afraid of injury or death. At number 4, the H202. This is one of the more popular models which is based on the first generation of jet packs. But its 33 second flight time is also very short. Pilots are required to undergo 100 hours of training before even using the sleek jetpack. And even then maneuvers are still very controlled and short. It is fueled by a mixture of hydrogen peroxide and nitrogen, which is converted to high pressure steam and generates over 300 pounds of thrust. It is also non-explosive and non-flammable, so it's relatively safe when you compare it to other jetpacks. At number 3, the Jet Wayne by Yves Rossi. Yves Rossi is a military trained pilot, an aviation expert, and an aeronautical maniac. His 6.5 carbon fiber wing has 4 jet engines which produce over 50 pounds of thrust each. The suit also weighs over 120 pounds and can fly for over 10 minutes. But it's also worth noting that it cannot take off from the ground and it needs to be early launched, so like from a helicopter. And he also has to land via parachute. But this jetpack setup is still really cool since it does allow him to fly beside giant airplanes and even race vehicles on the ground. At number 2, the Martin Jetpack. One of the safest jetpacks can fly for a record breaking 30 minutes. It's a fairly big unit which runs on a two-stroke V4 200 horsepower patrol engine which drives two large ducted fans. It also has a composite pilot protection module and a parachute system just in case of failure. It's also controlled by two joysticks so maneuverability is precise and really safe. So if I was given a choice on which jetpack to actually use, I would definitely pick the Martin. There's also been some delays, but the Martin Jetpack will be listed for $150,000 to the public, which is really cool because it's one of the first jetpacks that's actually being commercialized. Before we get to number one, I would just like to again mention my favorite hoverboard, which is the Flyboard Air. It has four jet engines which propel the Green Goblin machine to over 90 miles per hour. It also has built-in stabilization and it can fly for over 10 minutes. But unfortunately, the Flyboard Air is not publicly available just yet. But nevertheless, it's still a really impressive flying machine. At the great number one, the JB-10. The ultimate jetpack is the result of cutting edge technology and research. It has a pair of custom jet turbines along with onboard controllers, gyroscopes and accelerometers. So in other words, the JB-10 is the Ferrari of jetpacks. It only takes a few hours to learn and it is very easy to control. With 10 minutes of flight time, there is more than enough time to play around in the air. Jetpack Aviation intends to sell the JB-10 for around a quarter million dollars, so unfortunately, I'll never be able to afford one, but it's still really cool to see jetpacks coming forth to the market. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel.